there's no doubt that the Delta variant is still less bad in kids than it is in adults, which is fantastic. But there's also no doubt that if you look at these Delta hotspots, it appears to be worse in kids than the prior variants were. Again, we're not gonna we're not talking about New York City March 2020 levels, but it's bad. And we're hearing stories of kids having to go on ECMO on on lung bypass machines. We're hearing stories of kids dying. Um, it's 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 not good. Certainly when a virus is more contagious, which the Delta variant is, you see more people sick. And when you see more people sick, if it's still just one percent of the population that's ending up in the hospital, that's still you're gonna see more people in the hospital because 1% of a bigger number is a bigger number. So that's still something we're not really clear on, but it seems from talking to pediatricians who are caring for some of these kids, that it does seem to be slightly worse disease. I mean, they're talking about, you know, kids spending longer on the ventilator than they're used to and that sort of stuff. If your child is 12 or over, they should absolutely be vaccinated because what we know about the vaccine is that it mitigates that risk. So a kid that would have been in the ICU maybe will only spend one day in the hospital. A kid that would have been in the hospital maybe will only be sick at home for a couple of days. And the vast majority of people who get COVID with the vaccine have asymptomatic disease. And that's true for kids as teenagers, I should say, as well. The vast majority of teenagers who are getting breakthrough COVID have asymptomatic disease. And there's no doubt about it that the vaccine is the best way to protect kids. But for kids under the age of 12, there is no vaccine available yet. And we don't expect a vaccine to be available until late in the year or early next year even. The best way to protect a child under the age of 12 is for everybody around them who is over the age of 12 to be vaccinated because up until now, the primary way that children get COVID is from their parents, grandparents, older cousins, aunts and uncles. We know that to be true. So if all the adults in your child's life are vaccinated, that's a layer of protection, right? It's going to be harder for COVID to get to them. And then when your child is outside of your house around other unvaccinated children, they need to be wearing a mask, 100% unless they're playing outside. I let my kids, I will be very honest, I let my kids go unmasked outside because it's very hard to transmit COVID outdoors.